Right, good morning everybody. It's the uh, it's Glen here, the aftermath of the uh, September Pipe Club first year anniversary. Um, start things off with the housekeeping. Um, I'm soaking my Parker, my Parker Smooth Canadian. Um, it's one of the Parker collections I keep referring to. Uh, it used to have a sandblast finish, but I uh, wasn't a big fan. I don't really like this kind of shape in a black shellbriar style finish. So I uh, spent a long time sanding it down. Uh, I revealed the imperfection in there, which is what made this a Parker collection in the first place few little cracks in the grain on the uh, outside of the top of the bowl. Walls relatively thick on this small on this uh, on this pipe, so it's not too much of a problem. Smokes beautifully though. I absolutely love this pipe. What I've got inside is uh, my Yetigam, uh, which is one of the tobaccos I launched yesterday. Um, won't be available in the shop until tomorrow, uh, which is what Wednesday the to do Wednesday the seventh of September. Um, this will be a new addition to our standard stock line. It's kind of a a plain, non-offensive Virginia Turkish mixture. There's a lot of Turkish in there. The reason it's called Yastigan is. Um, Kind of a, a dagger, short sabre sort of thing, um, used by used by the Ottomans, the 16th to 18th century. So uh, I can't really think of a name, so I just thought let's find some uh, some very old-fashioned Turkish-style piece of weaponry. Um, as well as that, because it's early in the morning and everybody needs something to give them a kickstart, especially when they've smoked a lot and drank a lot and had a good time. Uh, need a nice big strong cup of tea um, this morning. Yeah, I'm smoking Wittard's Irish breakfast tea. It's a very, very, very full bodied tea. Lots and lots of ash out. It's, oh god. It's a beautiful tea. It's so malty. Really, really perks you up. So, back onto the Pipe Club. Um, say last night was the first year anniversary of the new Nottingham Pipe Club. We had a great night, over 20 people turned up, everybody having a good laugh, it was nice to see a few faces again. Uh, Mark turned up, <laughs> excuse me, and um, Matt, the um, the guy who's got such a love for that here, he's threatened to wear an RSPCA t-shirt for the um, offensive things people <laughs> do to camels to create the stuff. Um, Being the one year anniversary, we had a slow smoking competition. The tobacco I'm smoking now is what we had last night. Each person was issued a, a four inch uh, clay pipe, uh, one gram of my Yatagan tobacco, and we ended up allowing three matches in the end. Um, still, everybody had the same rules. Uh, Steve won, so congratulations, Steve. He kept I don't know what he keep going for, was it 43 minutes 40 seconds or 40 minutes 43 seconds, one of those two. But that's damned impressive, I lasted 20 minutes and I've literally just got ash left. Right, I think I've really got ash left now. Cheap wordy lighters. Nope, still got a bit of life left. So yeah, congratulations to Steve. Um, I'll uh, I'll show you guys the trophy when I've got his name engraved onto it. So yeah, thanks to everybody who came along to the pipe club. Um, AD over at AD's videos is going to be a load in the video of the contest and the video from the pipe club last night. Uh, I would have tried that sort of camera, but didn't get a chance to do any footage. Um, 
So yeah, that ends all the uh, happy, positive stuff I'm talking about. Now we move on to more pressing matters that affect smokers all over the world. That's the word of tax and duty. Um, I was watching the Wandering Recluses video this morning on the uh, the hike in American taxes. I've seen a couple of other videos, but um, I don't really know how I can help. To be honest, guys, um, it looks like it's going to be a little bit a little bit over the top. Uh, what is it? One thousand three hundred sixty percent. I had mentioned increase in taxes. Well, that's obscene. I mean, what's it going to? How's it going to affect your prices? I mean, over here we have high, 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 high taxes as it is. Smuggling black market tobaccos massive over here. Um, I need to give you guys an idea of our prices. You pay ten pound for a fifty gram tin of pipe tobacco, sixteen dollars. Uh, Robusto cigars, you're looking at what for something other than a cheap reject, about six pounds. Prices are for a robusto so a five fifty cigar. You're looking at anywhere between eight to fifteen pounds a stick. Rolling tobacco, you're looking at fifteen pounds a packet. Um, Cigarettes, you're looking at six to seven pounds a packet, um, and that's just our taxes. We've got very, very strict laws on any form of advertising. Um, even the word tobacconist is not allowed to be used in the yellow pages anymore. So my shop's not delisted in the yellow pages as a tobacconist. Um, and on top of that, the health Nazis over here are pushing for total, total destruction of the industry. Um, the display ban, the display ban was approved last year by the new, co by the, the new coalition government. Um, originally, both of them opposed this ban, so a lot of us were, took a slight sigh of relief when we got both parties in, coming into power to, to share the to share the responsibilities. Uh, and I've, at the moment, got a cat trying to eat the camera. I know, stop. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but yes, yeah, so when they came into power, they just kind of went ahead with it. Um, and implemented the display van. Um, if you want more information on this, you can check out. Oi! Pesky cat. You can check out um, some articles I wrote over at my blog at mrtobacco.co.uk. There's also a video I did with the BBC or BBC News talking about how the display van is going to the display van is going to affect trade and what kind of differences it makes. Um, so it affects large supermarkets next year. It comes into small shops in 2015. Hopefully, as long as the um, the, the proposal the law isn't changed too much from the initial proposals, especially with back in this like Gorton is where I work, it shouldn't be affected. Uh, we just have to black out the windows, become an over 18 shop, and hopefully we can keep trading and displaying products inside. If not, your local tobacconist is going to turn into a hole in the wall. Where you just go up, ask for your products, and be passing you through a hatch because you can't have any products on display. Your entire shop's smoking-related products. It includes everything, lighters, humidors, ashtrays, cutters, cases, tobacco pouches, everything. Everything tobacco related is not allowed to be displayed. But like I say, I wrote a series of articles over on my blog called um, State of Play, if you want to have a look at that. Um, and so I encourage all of you in America and all of you around the world, any proposal to do anything with um, tobacco laws, display laws, taxes, anything like that, act while you can before it's too late. It's crazy, um, but yeah. After all that, um, thanks very much for watching. Um, I'll be back again very soon with a few more reviews. But again, thanks a lot. Take care. Goodbye.